So here we have a problem with three masses being pulled by a single 36 Newton force. Uh, we're given each of the masses. We have four kilogram, two kilogram, and three kilogram. Uh, the three kilogram mass is connected with a rope to the four kilogram mass. So all three masses will be moving with the same acceleration and we're told that uh, the surface is frictionless, which means the, the coefficient of friction, the coefficient is zero. No friction. Okay, the first question. Find the acceleration of the system. Uh, what we mean by the system is all three masses together as a single whole. Um, now the solution I'm going to show here is not the only solution, but it's definitely the easiest solution. Um, to make this problem as easy as possible, what we're going to do is we're going to take um, all three masses and we're going to treat them as a single mass. So if you add the three masses up, it's nine kilograms total. Uh, and if you think about it, this makes sense because this 36 Newton force is basically pulling uh, nine kilograms. It, it can't tell that there are three masses back here, all this 36 Newton force can tell is that it's pulling nine kilograms. So the first thing we're gonna do is a free body diagram for our single nine kilogram mass. So this nine kilogram mass represents all three. So the forces present we have our 36 Newton force pulling to the right. We have mg down. And we have a normal force up. Okay, so that would be the free body diagram. No friction. So we, if, if there were friction, we would show friction going to the left. All right, next thing. We sum the forces in the x direction and we sum the forces in the y direction. So in the x direction, all we have is our 36 Newton force. No other forces, so we've summed it. We've summed up the, uh, the only force in the x direction. And the summation of the forces always equals ma, or that's an x acceleration. In the y direction, and by the way, we're not going to need the y direction here um, because the acceleration of the system, the acceleration of these three masses is only in the x direction and we're not asked to solve for normal force so really we don't need this y direction but I'm going to show it anyway. The way you would sum the forces in the y, we have normal force up, mg down, and that equals mass times acceleration in the y. And I guess I should add here when I say X, I mean the horizontal. When I say Y, I mean the vertical. There is no Y acceleration, so we can set this Y acceleration to zero because uh, these masses are not going to be accelerating vertically. They'll be accelerating uh, horizontally in the X. So this question can be answered very easily now by taking this equation and solving for what the x acceleration is. So we're going to get 36 newtons divided by mass. The mass here is 9. We're treating <clears throat> the three masses as a single whole. And this gives us 4 meter per second squared. All right, so to solve number two, uh, I'm going to show two different solutions. So we're now looking for the tension in the rope uh, between the three kilogram mass and the four kilogram mass. So first thing to notice is that if, you're, if we're looking at the four kilogram mass, uh, the tension in the rope points towards the left uh, from the perspective of the four kilogram mass. 
If we're looking at the three kilogram mass, the tension in the rope points to the right, which makes sense. You know, the four kilogram mass is being slowed by the tension and the three kilogram mass is being um, sped up or pulled to the right by the tension. Now, the two solutions to the problem, we, we can find the tension in the rope by focusing on the three and the two together as one, or we could find the tension in the rope by focusing on the four kilogram mass. Both, both ways to solve the problem are fine. Uh, I think it's a little bit quick, it's definitely quicker to focus over here. Not much quicker, but it is quicker. So let's start by looking at the three kilogram and the two kilogram. Now again, this tension pulling to the right does not know that there's a three kilogram and a two kilogram. All that this tension knows is that it's pulling a five kilogram mass. So for our free body diagram, so we're going to be working from here. So our free body diagram is going to be for a single five kilogram mass. We have tension pulling this five kilogram mass to the right. We have mg down, and we have a normal force pointing up. Our summing of the forces So in the x direction, we only have tension, and that's all. So that's going to be equal to mass times acceleration in the x. In the y direction, we have normal force minus mg. So normal force is positive because it points upward. mg is negative because it points downward. Uh, and we're not going to need this y direction. It's not going to factor into this solution at all but I'm just going to show it for completion. Now, again, there's no y acceleration. The y acceleration is zero because this five kilogram mass will only accelerate in the x direction. So here we have x and y. Okay, so we can find the tension in the rope from here. So tension equals mass times acceleration. And keep in mind, we, we know the acceleration of this whole system. We already found it in part one. The acceleration of all three masses are, are is four meter per second squared. That's true here and it's true there for all three masses. So the tension in the rope, we're going to use five kilograms because we're treating the three kilogram and the two kilogram as a whole. So the mass is five kilograms and the acceleration of that mass is four meter per second squared, which gives us a tension of 20 newtons. All right, now I'm gonna solve the same question, but now we're gonna focus on the four kilogram mass. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna erase what I just did. So now we solve it again, focusing on this four kilogram mass. So if we focus on the four kilogram mass, the mass is just four. And now we have two forces in the x direction. We have our 36 Newton force, and then we have the tension pulling to the left. Mg down normal force up. So this is the free body diagram. So on to summation of the forces. So in the x direction we have 36 newtons, positive because it points to the right, minus tension. Now here tension points to the left. Tension is pulling the four kilogram mass to the left. So that's our sum of the forces. Sum of the forces always equals mass times acceleration, where that's an x acceleration. And then in the y direction, 
Again, normal force minus mg equals ma. And there is no y acceleration. Uh, the four kilogram mass does not accelerate vertically. So to solve for tension, and we will get the same answer as when we focused on the three and the two. So we're going to take this equation here and solve for t. So t, if you do the algebra correctly, you'll get 36 minus ma. So that will be 36 newtons. The mass is 4 now. We're focusing on the 4 kilogram mass. And the acceleration of the 4 kilogram mass is 4 meter per second squared. So this is basically 36 minus 16, which gives us the same answer, 20 newtons. Okay, so the final question is, uh, find the force that the 3 kilogram mass exerts on the 2 kilogram mass. So we're going to be solving this problem by focusing just on the 2 kilogram mass. So let's just do the free body diagram. Look at the forces acting on the 2 kilogram mass. So obviously there is mg down, the force of gravity. Uh, there's a normal force because the 2 kilogram mass is on a surface. And the only force in the x direction, the only force horizontally, is the force of the 3 kilogram pushing the 2 kilogram mass. So we'll call this F23. Um, so the way you read that, that's the force on the 2 kilogram by the 3 kilogram. So we'll just label that F23, and that's what we're looking for. Now keep in mind, we know the acceleration of all three masses. All three masses are accelerating at 4 meter per second squared. So the solution for this question is really pretty quick. We sum the forces, x. We sum the forces, y. Uh, the only force in the x direction is this force that I labeled F23, the force on the 2 kilogram by the 3 kilogram, and the sum of the forces equals ma, where that's an x acceleration. And then in the y direction, normal force minus mg equals ma, that's a y acceleration. And there is no y acceleration. Um, we don't need this y equation. We haven't used the y direction at all in, this, in, in any of these questions. To find F23, we simply use ma. So the mass is 2 kilograms. Uh, the, and the reason for that is that the mass being accelerated here is the 2 kilogram mass because uh, we're focusing specifically on the 2 kilogram mass and we want to find the force that's accelerating it. So over here when we plug in uh, we're using a mass of 2 kilograms and we know that the acceleration of the 2 kilogram mass is 4 meter per second squared. So the force on the 2 kilogram mass by the 3 kilogram mass is 8 newtons.